Hey guys, welcome back to the Clack Shack. Uh, my final video for today. I've been out here working, trying to get some projects done. Uh, in an earlier video, I told you guys that I was working on a new design. And so I'm gonna kind of tell you why I come up with a new design, what it is, and I'm gonna show, show it to you. Uh, it's something that you might not have thought about being able to do with the X-Tool D1, but you can. So stick around for just a minute and I'll be right back. All right, guys, uh, I had an issue here a while back with uh, some lost keys, and it made me think that uh, there might be a uh, need in my life for some air tags. Uh, I use an iPhone, I have an iPad, and as you all know, uh, the air tags are pretty handy, and uh, they're out there uh, a lot to be used for locating things like keys, your wallet, your purse, uh, that type of thing. So to start my, my, my process and my creation, I made myself, because I needed them for myself, I made myself a couple of uh, tags here. And I'm gonna try to get them around where you can see them. Uh, see if I can get them to focus there, guys. But I have some photos probably on my community page too. But there they are right there. If I can get that to work. But anyway, guys, uh, so the idea was for me to just make some keychains for my, my, my newly acquired uh, tags so that I could put them on my keys or put them on whatever. And while I was working on this, uh, I created like three different variations. I've got a really wide shank on some of them, and then it goes down to a smaller shank. There's like three different sizes that I kind of played with to see which one I liked best. Uh, you know, for the, for, the, for the keys that are a little more uh, rugged, I went with a wider, a, a wider piece of leather here just to make sure it doesn't rip. Uh, and then, you know, for the more uh, low profile, I made one that has a little bit less, uh, a little bit less material there, hold it together. Both of them seem to be pretty, pretty secure, but I mean, leather, I mean, you know how it is. Leather's kind of like wood. Uh, it, it can have weaknesses in it, but the leather that I use is pretty uh, durable and it turned out pretty well. So I made those two. Uh, and one more thing guys, I will be putting links in the description for the leather and all the stuff used to make this. So if you wanna make your own, you, you'll know what leather I use and you can be able to re reproduce these because I will be putting the uh, design in my Etsy store. I'm not gonna be doing them individually. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna create a uh, my Apple uh, tag pack, and you'll get all the variations that I made of these, the different size keychains and these here. And I wanna to explain to you what these here are. These are actually, <clears throat> because I thought about it, I was like, you know, these things are pretty handy for keys and such, but you could actually use them to, like if you have a pet that stays in your house, or if you have a, you know, a, a dog that you take with you when you go places, let's say you, you decide to throw the family and the dog in the RV and you're going camping. Uh, then this is a leather one that I made and I, I left some holes in here that should be big enough to accommodate most uh, collars that you would use with a dog. Now there's gonna be some, some like military grade collars and stuff like that, that, that this isn't gonna fit. You might have to come up with a different approach, uh, but if that was the case, you could always use one of these here and attach it to whatever collar that the dog, you know, will be wearing while you're out, uh, such as, you know, you could use this one. This one's the real thick, it's robust, it's strong. Uh, so you could, you could attach that to the dog's collar or whatnot. And that way, in the event that your dog does break free from you and run off into a neighborhood or whatnot, you would have this and these don't cost anything you know some of the some of the tracking collars and stuff for pets and for dogs uh, they cost annually and cost money this is just kind of a throw together way of being able to do that uh, you could also use like this one you could use for backpacks you could use it for purses you could use it for whatever other thing that you could attach it to uh, you can use a key ring to attach it here but I mean you could you could put some 550 cord through here uh, you could at the how you attach it is basically up to you, uh, limited only by your imagination. Uh, this one's the larger of the pet tags that I did that will actually, you could actually put a, uh, 
put a put a collar through it and then i made a smaller one which i can only make these so small and i made i made this one as small as i could and not uh had the strap just be you know kind of gawky on the uh on the, the piece and the way i designed these is for the collar to go in through the hole and go between the pet and the the, the tag that way you don't have it pressing against the neck uh this one here because it's a a little bit bigger i did make sure that i got the the, the tags on the inside uh this one's gonna be a little stronger a little more durable uh so i assume that you know a larger dog it might be a little easier to be torn off and so I kind of put the, I recess the, the little locking tab that goes together with it on the back. And, but that's, that's what I've come up with today, guys. Uh, it was just a, an idea that I had. And uh, y'all know I've got dogs. I've got large dogs and dogs that, that, you know, perform jobs and go places with me. And I thought this would actually be a pretty good idea for them. Uh, for my application, either one of these approaches would work. Uh, and I tried to make a really small one because I know I've seen some really small dogs in the world. And so I made this one as small as I could. I mean, this one is small enough. I think I might could make Fluffy wear it. But Fluffy has never worn a collar or anything. So, and I don't think cats wearing collars is necessarily a good idea. They're a little bit too acrobatic for that. Uh, that could That could turn very bad very quick. But... But for a small dog, this wouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's the, it's it's ten millimeters larger than uh, the actual the actual tag itself. So, but that's my latest creation, guys. And it all spawned because I went and bought me some air tags, and I needed some keychains to go with it. And then once I got it in the in the light burn, it, my imagination just kind of took away from me. But uh, but I will be like I said, I will be compressing these things and putting them in a zip folder. And I'll drop them on my Etsy store. It's going to be a pack. Uh, I'm not going to break these things up individually because I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with Etsy, but I charge very, very low uh, prices for my stuff. And by the time Etsy takes everything that they take, it doesn't leave me a whole lot. So rather than break these up and try to charge, you know, a lower price for each individual one, I'm going to bundle them all in a pack if you want them. There they are. The thing about these is these are just like my hats that I make. Uh, you're gonna have to take, and, and I, I, I cut the holes in light burn. So basically when you get these, like the keychain or this, it both works the same way. You're gonna wanna take this, line these holes up because they have matching holes in the, the cover and matching holes in the base on these. You wanna line those holes up, and what I do is I stitch it about halfway around, making sure I get good tight stitching with my leather stitch. And then I slide the air tag in there and then finish stitching it out. I go around once, going, you know, in the hole, out, back in the next hole, and then I go around again doing the same thing. And then on the last one, I, I prune the, uh, the string, melt it, and compress it, stick it together right there. So, the, you, you know, you're going to have to make this yourself. This is not, you're not going to be able to burn this and just snap the, the tag in there. Uh, there is some assembly required, and there's going to be some 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 uh, leather thread and leather needles required to put this together. But that's going to be my my latest creation, guys. And uh, I'm going to call it a day today and go in the house. I've got eight uh, ball caps with leather patches on them that I have to go sew on. So I'm going to be doing some sewing and making my arthritis flare up for a little while tonight. But anyway, I just want to share that with you. Like I said, guys, uh, most of my creations are out of my own need. So uh, if you think that's a cool idea and you like those, uh, go check out the Clack Shack on Etsy. And uh, you can grab those guys. Uh, they'll be, they should be on there by the time this video is. So anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. And if you haven't already, please go hit the subscribe button. Uh, I'm, I'm wanting to try to get this thing up to 3,000. We're, we're making good progress, but I'd really like to see it hit 3,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already, if you like the channel, you like the content, you think you know, you think you want to see more of me or more of Fluffy or whatever, make sure you hit the uh, notification bell to turn on notifications so you can get a, uh, a, a, a reminder when we post a video. And you never know, I might actually release something cool like this 
and uh, it may not just be me sitting here uh, ratchet jawing. It may actually be something cool. So thanks for sticking around and uh, have a good day.